Morning. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, this is day two of our trip. However, I'm kind of classing it as day one because this is when the weather improves, for starters. Yesterday, I was secretly a little bit bummed out that the majority of the drive was gray motorway. We didn't really have much sunshine. We did eventually have some tunnel runs. and We got some supercar sounds. But today for me is where it really kicks off. We're going from Lake Annecy and working our way down the most indirect route possible to find some fantastic driving roads before winding our way into Monte Carlo. Oh, we've also been joined by Seb in the Bapperville. So it appears this morning, Sam, yours was the only car to get uh, covered in bird poop. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm now cleaning How's that it worked out? Although, a bottle you're of definitely Evian. the only person to clean your car with a bottle of Evian. <laughs> I just literally, I'm so proud of my new wrap. I'm pleased with it that I'm like, flies, go away! So, well, so this is something I haven't spoken about yet. So this is the first time that I've seen Sam's wrap in person. It's looking really good. What's the name of the red? Dub Fire Red. Dub it's Fire a dub Red. Custom and it special, and it's all about this. It has a gold fleck in it, right? Come, come, come. come. Be shown. Now oh, there the it is. is out, there it is. You look how good up. that looks. Yeah, go So while on camera, that might look a little bit orange, but that is actually gold. It looks fantastic. And the idea as well is, if you haven't watched Sam's rap video, is that this black bonnet matches with the whole central black line theme that goes down the center of this car. So we go bonnet, roof, and then the bit from factory, which is black, is this central compartment over the engine bay here. It's a really nice sweeping line. Works really well. It's not every day you fill up next to a Batmobile, but in the last few months, it happens more often than I'd expect. 98! Give me the juice! Let's go and have a chat with Paul, because despite me being on the road with him all day yesterday, I haven't even said hello on camera yet. No? <laughs> well, I did, hello. but I, I, I cut it out of the video yesterday. Uh, okay, yeah, that's what I found as well. Like All of the good bits actually wasn't the talking. No, it was, it was the, the driving. driving. The dri so. And the first half of yesterday was a little bit grey and tarmac -y yeah. and just and we were just stuck in cars. Away. It was just stuck sucky. Today, I'm classing this as day one, really. Yeah. Because this is sunshine, we're working our way into Monaco. The weather's good. And there's a different vibe about this. Yeah. It's like a tangible change in environment. And we didn't wake up at 4am. Which is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually got some sleep. So waking up at seven for us these days is like a lion. So it'll be the first time that you've had your car on a road trip? Yeah, yeah, first time on a road trip and first time on like some proper roads. Proper roads, When yeah. it isn't, because uh, it's now run in. Also, it's done over the thousand miles. Mate, you must be so excited. Yeah, I can't really wait excited. to hear that yeah. thing. Do you know, one of my favorite things is when you hear the, the dude's car in front, like resonating off the walls yeah, next to yeah. you. It's such a special sound. It is a banging sound. So we're heading down to Monaco today, but we're going the most indirect route possible just yeah. for the purpose of finding some yeah. amazing roads. We've basically gone on Google Maps and typed in Monaco and then take avoid motorways. Avoid motorways. <laughs> <laughs> If you can take me to something that mildly resembles what we drove in Tenerife, I will thank you in pizza. <laughs> Good man, carry him on! ground of twisty asphalt cannot wait to get finally my own car on a road deserving of its magnificence and it's funny the last few months I've had 
so much time on the road and traveling, but it's barely been in my own cars. Those of you that watched my 675LT Epiphany video, which is the first time that I drove an LT, it just so happened to be an LT Spider, was one of the best drives of my life. Uh, and I'm still yet to have that experience in my own car, but I've got a feeling today is the day. All right, lunch stop. It's actually technically breakfast stop for me. I haven't had anything to eat all day. I'm absolutely starving. And we saw the first sign that said pizzeria. Look at the location. Absolutely perfect day. Day, wasn't it? What a great <laughs> our, our road! Our last lasted ten minutes. And we I know there was a lot. There was a lot of traffic, but it sort of got it. Got me excited. Yeah, got, got more. Got me going. More and then classic YouTubers on the walkie-talkie. Like, pizza, pizzeria, pizzeria. <laughs> me and Chris got uh, split the ambulance. Up. And yeah, and me yeah. and uh, and me and Chris GT3 RS and the R8, and we yeah. pulled out, and it was like three cars in a row. And then he went, and as I pulled out and gunned it, there was an ambulance coming the other way with the flashing lights on, and I didn't know what speed he was doing. I nailed it and literally must have gone in as he went past. I was like, and Kelly was asleep. I felt, I felt so bad. Yeah. I literally, I came to that petrol station. I was like, "Oh, done." Yeah, I'm gonna be sick. You really think yourself out? You really freaked yourself out? You really freaked yourself out? I was way over my did it. Did it freak you? Yeah. I remember. You really were like, "I'm going. I'm going." I'm Do you have you ever driven back to roads where? you learnt to drive on, or when you had your the first M25. car. <laughs> <laughs> We're from London. So, so, I, so I now live in a different area to where I grew up and where I learned to drive. And sometimes I go back to that area in like modern day supercars now. And I, and I look back on areas I used to overtake and I'm like, I wouldn't overtake there in a no. car. You know what I mean? I like, what was I thinking? Do you know the moment I loved was when we filmed the <laughs> S1 <laughs> 695 video. Yeah. And we're driving along and Jesse goes, ah, oh, um, you see this T-junction? Yeah, like, yeah, he goes, that tree's where I uh, bin my scooter in. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> cool. Let's <laughs> 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 slow, slow this one down. pizza doesn't sound like it would go but it's honestly one of the best pizzas I've ever had it's just a thing on the, the continent in Europe they just seem to do pizzas better anyway back in these fabulous cars take these fabulous roads to eventually wind down into Monte Carlo to have oh, a supercar on a super road with one of your good mates up front also driving his favorite supercar oh and i'm back on these super tires i know i keep banging on about tires but they absolutely transform this car the lateral grip is phenomenal you really really lean on the outside edge and it just instills so much confidence in you when driving this car which in turn just makes it Oh, very pleasurable indeed. So we're only about, I don't know, maybe a hundred miles away from our destination now. I can tell that we are finally flowing quite south because, well, the environment's changing. The change in atmosphere, the sunshine, the light, even the texture of the trees and the rocks. You know that you're heading down south and, well, let's face it, the whole world becomes beautiful around here. Oh, wow. The, like, it doesn't matter what conditions it is in England, it's just not this, is it? It's just not this. It's just There's not this. And, it, and the roads don't go on for as long as this. No. It's, it's constantly flowing. The roads, the scenery, the air, it's like everything about it's it. I'm, I'm, sure. I'm going along and I've just got this massive smile yeah. on my face. It's like, what is so happening? Outrageous. How are you finding oh, your man. car? Because But basically, me and Sam are in quite a similar situation in that first time these cars have left England yep. and gone to a proper road, 
Uh, that your exhaust, that thing, <laughs> it's, it's got unreal, a it? particularly top end. It's yeah. got that howl that you get. It's got like subtones of four, five, eight. Yeah, yeah, it I really know. does. It's I, so, I am obsessed. I'm so so happy so with cool. it. And once you start going in those cars, I can't imagine what this is like. I can't because that feels too quick. I'm at fifty percent. You need to have it on this trip. You should have a go. Right. You should definitely have a go. Because you my need to know. Will be boggled. Then my, I'll hate my own car. <laughs> <laughs> my, I'm literally like, And you said, since you fitted the exhaust, more power? Yeah, 100% quicker. 100%. 100%. Yeah. quicker. Yeah. I don't know it's how much fantastic. I'd be interested to dyno it to, yeah. to see, because yeah. they reckon 20 to 25 horsepower. I didn't want to say it in my videos in case it's not, but sure, out but here now. Definitely a tangible 100%. feeling. 100%. Approaching the ocean, particularly the Mediterranean, the palm trees unfold, the rock formations change. I just love it. It changes my whole demeanor. I get happy, I get excited. And of course, we're winding our way down during top marks. So we're also gonna rock up into town and the whole environment there is gonna be buzzing. Last year, the supercar scene was fantastic, but of course the whole town as well is vibrating with action. So without further ado, let's head on down there. We're gonna uh, drop the cars off at Seb's and then call it a day at Tip Top. Okay, and this is a slightly random place Wagwan. to end the vlog, however, the last time I was in this car, in fact, driving this car, was on a frozen lake in Finland. Uh, and now I've been Random. following it all day uh, in my own car, which has been fantastic. But we quickly realized that you actually can't see anything out of this car. Nothing at all. <laughs> Literally <laughs> nothing at zero. all. zero. Around uh, the, the back, nothing. The other thing we've noticed is, I don't think Justin Bieber would draw a crowd as much as this car. I it's know. unbelievable. Okay, I, I currently feel now. like a fish in a bowl. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to jump in this thing and do my sign off because it's been fantastic following it all day and it sounds you know, brilliant it's been fantastic the insulation following your car. really yeah like your car when you accelerate there's nothing like it because you dip down accelerate crack and then when you get on the brakes it just does the massive <laughs> and the wind air goes brake. boom yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievable to see anyway seb and i are now going to do a few laps of uh monte carlo because this is our first and last day with the bat um and then uh, we're gonna resume life in After. Monte Carlo without this car tomorrow. That sounds good. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Ciao.